Ben, Bradley, it's your daddy. I love you boys and I miss you. I'm trying to show you the wind outside. It's kicking some ass and it's taking names right now. I love you boys so damn much and as I sit here this morning, I ask myself why can't I have your cell phone number? Why can't your dad send you a text message like I always want to do and just say, hey boys, I'm thinking of you, I love you, and I hope you have a good day. I don't understand why that's, why that can't be possible. I know you have a cell phone. I mean, you're going on 15 years old, Ben. Bradley, you probably even have a cell phone. Your dad misses you and your dad loves you. I don't understand where all this is coming from. You boys have just acted like I don't exist. You don't talk to me. You ghost me. It's just crazy to me how two young men like yourself feel the way you do about your dad for no reason other than the fact that your mom has influenced you to take this stand against your dad. I think it's bullshit. I know a little girl, I know a little girl who actually saw her mom get beat, who actually got used as a human shield by her dad so the mom wouldn't fight back. And this started when the little girl was little, little, and it happened until she was about five years old. And she saw this, and she saw what happened. But she still wants to talk to her dad. She still has the mindset of, that's my dad at eight years old. I love him, but there you guys are at, I don't know, 14 and 10? And it's like you're you're afraid to talk to your dad and you're definitely afraid to show any affection towards your dad because of the just you don't bite the hand that feeds you, right? And the, you know your mom feeds you guys. Your mom does everything for you guys. So I I get it. You got to do what you need to do to survive. But it's just very unfortunate that you're not allowed to speak to your father. Your father thinks about you every second of every day. I do. I think about you guys every second of every day. Your thought about, I miss you. I wish that we were in each other's lives so we could hear each other's stories and just take life on head on together as a team, you know? I'm your dad. I will always be here for you. Rather you get told that or if you believe it or not, you'll see. I love you boys. This video's past the four minute mark. I'm just rambling. I wish I had your cell phone just to keep it simple, your cell phone number and just say, hey boys, I hope you're rocking at school. I love you. Talk to me when you can later. For God's sakes, I don't understand why life isn't that way. Anyhow, thanks, Barb. You know what? You blame me all you want, but things didn't have to be this way. Things didn't have to be this way whatsoever. So thank you.